if a function f is differentiable at a point c then it is also continuous at that point so here we need to prove that if f is any function which is differentiable at a particular point c then at this point c this function is continuous we need to prove that if a function is differentiable at this point c then that function is also continuous at the same point c so in the previous session i had given you the definition of derivative of a function so if the function f is differentiable then it is given by uh, f dash of c is equal to limit of f of x minus f of c divided by x minus c as x tends to c so this will be the definition of derivative of a function and also you know that a function f is continuous at a point c f is continuous at a point c if limit of f of x as x tends to this point c is same as f of c also we have discussed this definition also the function f is continuous at a point c if limit of this function f of x as x tends to c is same as value of the function at the given point so using this definition i have to prove this one so this definition says that the function is differentiable and here we know that the function is continuous so using this we need to approach for this result that is a differentiable function is continuous we need to show this proof they have given that the function f is differentiable i will use that condition since f is differentiable f is differentiable at a point c at a point c we have we have f dash of c is equal to limit of function f of x minus f of c divided by x minus c as x tends to c take this as equation number 1 take this as equation number 1 so x tends to c implies that x is not equal to c i'll use this but x is not equal to c so when x is not equal to c we can write this uh, f of x minus f of c as so ide function na yav rithi barithe antandre f of x minus f of c divided by x minus c into x minus c so for this equation i have multiplied and divided by x minus c so the next step i will apply the limit on both the sides as x tends to c applying the limit on both the sides as x tends to c so after applying the limit i have limit of f of x minus f of c as x tends to c is equal to limit of f of x minus f of c divided by x minus c into x minus c as x tends to c so here i will apply the algebra of limits so this could be written as limit of the function f of x as x tends to c minus limit of f of c as x tends to c so this is limit of f minus g limit of f minus g is limit of f minus limit of g that i have applied so this will be equal to same case here also limit of f of x minus f of c divided by x minus c as x tends to c into limit of x minus c as x tends to c so in the lhs i will keep this as it is limit of f of x as x tends to c minus limit of f of c as x tends to c is equal to so here you can see that limit of f of x minus f of c divided by x minus c as x tends to c this will be f dash of c this is by using 1 i will use equation number 1 here that is the definition of differentiable functions i have applied here limit of f of x minus f of c divided by x minus c as x tends to c will give you f dash of c into 
So evaluating this limit, limit of this function x minus c as x tends to c. So wherever you have x, replace it by c. I get c minus c, which will be zero. So therefore, this limit of f of x as x tends to c minus limit of f of c as x tends to c will be equal to zero. Will be equal to zero. Which on simplification, I get limit of function f of x as x tends to c is equal to limit of f of c as x tends to c. So here you can observe that because suppose if I have function f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. So what is the value of this function at x is equal to 1? f of 1 is equal to 2 into 1 plus 1 that will be 3. So what is limit of f of 1 as x tends to 1? That will be 3 constant. That is limit of any constant value is that constant value itself. So here I can write limit of f of c as x tends to c to be f of c. Therefore, I have limit of f of x as x tends to c to be f of c. So this will be the definition of continuous function. So from equation number 1, we have approached to this result which says that limit of f of x as x tends to c is equal to f of c. So limit of f of x as x tends to c is equal to f of c. This is the definition of continuous function. Hence, f is continuous at x is equal to c. Therefore, we have proved that if a function f is differentiable at a point c, then it is also continuous at that point. At that point.